The company has a lot of active programs right now. We're actively drilling in a whole number of targets along the Appleton and JVP fault zones. We have a field team out in Queensway South. One drilled active at Queensway South. Further to that, we're looking at conducting a three-dimensional seismic survey. One of the biggest things in my mind as a geologist is a way of vectoring in, trying to find new mineralization. And what we're going to use is we're going to use uh, a technique that the oil companies use. Seismic, we hope, will find these knots of structural complexity in the sediments. The Keat zone is a knot of structural complexity. So we're going to do a couple of lines over the Keat zone to see if we can find another Keat zone and we're gonna do it on a big, big area of the property. You essentially take the instruments and you do a line of work over the Keat zone. And you see the Keat zone in the electronic data. And then you take that same test and you do it over the rest of the property. And wherever you see something that looks like the data tells you there's another Keat zone, then you do more drilling. We've really tried to harness remote sensing because that's one of the ways that we can take the lid off. That's one of the ways that we can look deeper and, and understand what rocks are doing without seeing them. We're trying to get a fingerprint this data off of the existing deposits we already know about and then search the broader data set for those fingerprints when they reemerge. What we're aiming to do is have that guide us through the, the next several years of exploration. And what that will allow us to do is to do drilling more efficiently. So we think that the Keat zone should show up in this seismic data, and then we'll be able to drill these anomalies all over the property and hopefully find several other Keat zones. It's going to allow us to better target, more effectively target, and more efficiently target gold mineralization at depth in particular, and, and understand the overall architecture of the fault structures and sedimentary basin that we're currently exploring. The property package is huge, right? And we have 70 kilometers of area to test. And if you're stepping out 50 meters or 100 meters of drill hole, it's gonna take you a zillion drill holes to cover the property. It's just a, a much more efficient use of drilling capital um, and exploration work. So you don't spend your energy exploring 90% of the property which doesn't have mineralization. All you're looking for is that five or 10% that has the ounces. We can dovetail that with the rest of the work that we've already created to really have the most sophisticated data-driven program. So it's, it's really an amazing opportunity, not just because it's going to help us find more gold, but because it allows us to really pioneer a new workflow.